Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. I figured I'd start this episode on a high note. We have traveled to the lair of Borokoru, the ape god. And I'm going to be doing some questionable things today. Uh, if you are a fan of Borokoru, I am sorry, but they're probably going to die to my many hands today. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but I, I'm probably also going to break a water ritual it's not something i'm a huge fan of doing um but i i kind of like I, I i you know toyed with the idea of like we'll, we'll make one run a uh a borokoro friend run and we'll make uh, a one run a, a borokoro enemy run but i don't like i don't really think that there's any advantage to doing that i always you know other than like it's, it's something to do um for the stream or for, for the stream for the for the channel for the series it's something of interest but you know i'm good i think i'm okay let's let's just like you know we'll put a pin in all of this this uh this is a, a series meant to try and acquire the achievements not to you know uh mess around and and uh make friends when enemies are are just as valuable um I, th I also realize, I guess in the next um, character, I'm going to have to do a Jopa start because I need to become enemies with Jopa. This is, uh, I'm not finding our, our friend Borokoru. Are we still in the lair? I don't think we are. Subterranean jungle. Subterranean jungle. There's a baboon in your way. Where where does the lair begin? The notes. The lair of a Borokoro ape god. Do we just like keep going down? I guess we do. I didn't realize that this was going to be um you know, quite the task. But apparently it is. Alright, that's fine. Five strata deep. I wonder if we're gonna like meet every single type of ape before we meet a Borokoru. We're seeing o uh, ogres. I just saw an ogre there for a second. We're on pretty good terms with with apes. I mean, you start with on pretty good terms with apes. Oh, we got a smooth topaz gemstone. That's a good find. I'm sure uh, all of these apes are not going to be friendly to us once we kill their their god, basically. But yeah, the, the plan is to make friends with a Borokoru and then um, kill them. And I, you know, it's no easy task. Uh, a Borokoru is a multi-limbed monster, painted crystal coronet. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. I meant to look at it. We, we pretty much know everything. We still haven't found the complete history of even one Sultan, which is just wild to me. Oh, uh, I think that was them. That was them. You stand not at the foot of a wintry knoll, but beneath a mountain of muscle swathed in uh, blanched fur. That must be nature's crowning jewel, cast from the mold of the great apes, or perhaps the exemplar from which those apes were molded. The living god defers only in that he bears not two but six arms, each of which might be the fleeced bull of an ancient ewe. His fists are of properties, or proportions that suggest that the, the might with which hoary gods beat the mountains into shape when the earth was young However, his aspect bears not a shred of that divine fury. He doesn't rage, but instead sits in contemplation of eons. Loved by apes, disliked by the seekers of the sightless way, and disliked by goat folk. Physical features, mighty fist, mighty fist, mighty fist, mighty fist, mighty fist, mighty fist, thick fur. Let us chat with them. And we will start the water ritual um, in contemplation of eons has is the achievement I just gained from that 
share lots of secrets with them. They could teach us conk. Share a secret with me. Why don't we why don't we gain some secrets from them? Udoct in Sultan Histories. We just got the last bit of history. The last bit of history for one of the Sultans came from Aborokoro, the ape god. What an absolute epic freaking saga that has been. We could have them join me. I wonder if that's an achievement. I want... Let me, let me, let me, probably not. Aboru... Oh, hold on. Aboru Karu. It appears six times. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Five times. No achievement for, um... I wonder if we could get them killed without necessarily killing them. What do you think? That would be nice. I don't want to have to kill them. Kill a Borokoro ape god. It does say kill. It doesn't say like wield their fist or something like that. Okay, well, um... <sighs> Let me see. I'm gonna... I want to drop some stuff before we do this because my my temporal clones seem to always be by the way we got quite a few cloning draughts from uh from our friend the 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 lad you know the lad the icker merchant my my clones always seem to be uh over encumbered and i think it's because for some reason the nylon body pack doesn't count on them i don't know why that would be we have so many files, probably because we've collected so many, like, sun's legs. Look at all of our water skins. We definitely don't need all of this. Um, what else do we not need? Armor. We can drop all of this stuff. We, eh, I don't know. I don't want to drop it all. We should fix this mechanical wings, but I guess I'm not going to. <laughs> Drop this for sure. Artifacts. We can drop a couple of these. Apparently we have a rifle that I didn't know about. Slender carbine, we can drop that. Anything else? We have so many grenades. <clears throat> We're probably going to need those right now, actually. Um, unfortunately, my quick buttons are not working either. So... Okay, um, how do we want to do this? I think I just want to, like, take a shot on them and then Temporal Fugue. Where's Temporal Fugue? On my boost toughness, probably. Uh, I have Mental Mirror. When did that happen? Temporal Fugue is F7. Okay, here we go. Pop. Are they mad at us? Yes, they are. Temporal fugue time. Um, what kind of, what, what do we have right now? Multiple arms, temporal fugue, double muscle. That's really all we have. We don't have any other mutations. They all got wiped off the face of the planet. So we're just gonna beat them up the old fashioned way. They are dazed. They're getting, like, dunked on by not just uh, four-armed me's, but many four-armed me's. So, like, ooh, they, they, they can still pack a punch. And there's also a lot of ogres heading their way over here. So it's not like I'm not in danger. Meds, herbary, eat. They are... are they stunned? Um... Oborokoru is taking these hits like a champ. We don't have Konk. Okay, we need to eat some more herbaries. berries. 
Okay, that's one ogre down. I'm a little bit worried about what, what's going to happen when my temporal fugue friends are down, dead. Also, I believe I'm stunned. I'm going to sprint away. Just a little bit. As a treat, you know. Eat the herberry, yummy, yummy. Herberry salad, yummy, yummy. Um, what I should do... What do we currently have equipped for our grenade? Oh, wait, I see. We're using the geomagnetic disc. Let's remove that and equip freeze grenades. They are wounded. Badly wounded. Okay, so that is a large hit to our reputation for basically everyone. Um, it, literally everyone. Which, you know, that sucks, but it means that I don't have to find a Barokoro in the in, in future runs. And we get ourselves a new weapon. The Fist of the Ape God. It does 16 penetration and it, uh, well, I say 16 penetration now. It looks like it goes up as much as your strength does. And it does 6 uh, D2. What is our current damage? 3 D4. Um, I think it's worth wielding this. You discovered a way to conceal yourself for now. What does that mean? What 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 extra powers does the Fist of the Ape God hold? Plus four ego. Plus three to hit. Strength bonus cap nine 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 nine. Um, it's a cudgel, obviously. If you didn't know, it's also two handed. Did not know that part. What does this give us? I forget. The shank is worth it, right? Oh yeah, plus three ego. Actually worth it. So, we did it. We, we, uh... Killed a Borokoru. I feel bad. Uh, their, their fist does an absurd amount of damage, though. Yes, apes, I have killed your god. And uh, we are no longer friends. I am no longer friend to ape. What are you doing with a security card, I have to ask, ape? Now that we've done that, I can head back to... Uh, what I'll do is actually recoil to uh, our, our home village, Deva. And we'll continue searching for our cyan glow pad friend. It's been a very eventful few episodes. I mean, we, we've actually knocked out a, a few achievements. Including uh, find ever like, I really, I can't stress enough how, like, I, I've been trying to get this achievement for ages, but um, acquire every bit of history for a sultan is kind of a big deal. I think we are enemies to everything, though. Pretty sure everything hates us. <laughs> yep. Especially, but not limited to those apes over there. They definitely hate us. Disliked by cannibals. I wonder if I could try... I could try proselytizing this ape. Apes are pretty not smart. I Actually, I don't know if I have proselytize anymore. Apparently I do, but my function buttons are not working. Whatever, apes. I will, you know, let you live for now. You know, I gotta say, when it comes to factions, they take loyalty very seriously, but they don't really heed much logic or reason. Um, what do I mean by that? Well, think about it. Hey, that's the guy that killed our god. We hate him for killing our god. 
you know the god with six arms is like the size of a mountain and looks like it's just a primordial creature of of earth and blood and just you know that god you know the god that looks like it could rip a mountain out of the ground that's the guy that killed him and we hate him let's go at him let's throw hands with the guy who killed our ape god what absolute stupidity also it looks like i'm never going to be able to fast travel again because there's just always going to be um creatures around us uh hostiles because now everything is angry at us everything <laughs> what a bummer so i think i'm on this now I just I, I'm a little bit lost, but I think this is correct So I'm just gonna keep doing as I have been doing Yeah, we're on this layer because I there's some of these zones that I haven't seen yet We are wielding a Borokoro's fist It's been a it's been a fun run, you know like uh, roleplay mode you eventually see the absolute best side of Cud. Um, so in a way, the novelty of the best side of Cud gets kind of worn off. And it's it's the unfortunate part, the unfortunate side of... Um, and we're not making friends with that lad. Uh, of roleplay mode is like, if you play Cud long enough, eventually every single run descends into some kind of manic anarchy. Um, apparently that Arcanaut didn't like us either. Wow, even Arcanauts, huh? But, I mean, I don't mind. I've played enough runs of Cud where I've, like, died to the most dumb, stupid stuff ever. I don't mind, uh, playing a few runs and almost getting sick of the novelty of, of winning because it's it's fun you know like cud isn't just um a monster it's also a fun monster it's like uh you know every every like kid show has that one episode where it's like oh no the the scary creature that lives under my bed or something like that and it turns out there actually is a monster under the bed and they are actually very spooky but it also turns out that they really like cheese for some reason and you know the, the the main protagonist really relates to that because they also like cheese and it turns out that the monster was not actually that bad and uh you know that's just bless them for that bless them for being a good monster that's caves of cud in a nutshell when you first start caves of cud and you're just like everything in it is terrifying everything in it is alien Everything in it is, you know, an enemy. Including, you know, the food that you eat, the, the, you know, the various liquids, all of the things flying at you. Um, we're in Desert Canyon already. Okay, so we're gonna turn around. But then, you know, then after a few hundred hours of playtime, which, uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things, isn't really that bad. When you really break it down, it's it's not the biggest ask ever. Um, a few hundred hours, eventually, you find out, wow, you know what? Caves of Cut actually really likes cheese. Uh, loved by Snapjaws, disliked by Swine. Hated by the villagers of Taruk. Well, we can make friends with the villagers of T Taruk. I feel like they are now officially our only friends. Imagine absolutely destroying your reputation with every single uh, faction in the game. You know, honestly, I think there's no better cause for doing something like that than killing the ape god, Aborokoro. 
Honestly, even, you know, I'll be honest. I don't think even then. Like, how do you justify breaking a water ritual? He forgot my birthday. He didn't send me a Christmas card. He didn't invite me to the office party. You notice these are all he's, right? Uh... He, he ate my last slice of pizza. And for that, I broke the water ritual. But for real, what what justification would there be? I feel like, um, you know, the various factions aside, the ones that, you know, they all hate each other or love each other for various reasons. We just walked by Jopa. Um, you know... Most people, most creatures in Cud abide by the water ritual. It is, uh, you know, the most precious thing. Because, like, everyone's an enemy in Cud. You know, I feel like everyone is kind of hates each other a little bit. And so when something is, you know, when you talk about someone who is willing to share their water with you, basically an act of kindness is what it really is um that seems precious it's like well that is that is a very holy act that is a objectively good thing you have done and kindness in this world is rare so therefore you know I, I, I mean you know ill will forever. Although I will say, um, you know, like, if you make friends with someone who generally hates you, like, for instance, if you trick them by using a love injector and then, you know, um, doing the water ritual, they'll still try and attack you. Like, they, you know, you tricked me. That We may be under the pact of the water ritual, but that doesn't make us friends. So that's honestly caused to break the water ritual. I think we found it. We figured it out. Also, I'm not going to attack that ape. I'm not going to do it. I really feel like even if I have walked through the zone that has the special glow pad in question, I, I it's either dead or I didn't see it. Because it, it was it's so easy for me to miss it. For one thing, it's blue. It's like the same color as the freaking... water. It's not really a dark or baby blue. It's just... It's well, I guess it is a baby blue. It's a cyan. Wow, there really is a lot of apes around in the swamp right now. Disliked by the Naphtali tribe. Disliked by the Barathermites. You know what? Let's go ahead and... Destroy this ape. Look at all the stuff they dropped. Snakeskin armlet? Sure. Another security guard? Why do apes have so many security guards? Are apes like the security guards of the world? Uh, you know, I feel like if I was going to have a club... Oh no, we're not, we're hated by Gnu. Loved by antelopes, disliked by snapjaws, hated by water barons. If I was going to have a, some kind of rave club in Caves of Cud, a Caves of Club, you could say, um, then I think I definitely would have apes as my, as my bouncers. I have like one albino ape, maybe an ogre if I can if I can afford them. Although I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of ogres. Too many layers, you know. But like, have a, have an albino ape and and a couple of uh, baboons. It'd be like that one caravan palace soundtrack slash music video that we all know. You know the one. Oh, uh, everyone loves that caravan palace music video. That, that Just that Caravan Palace music video, except it's Caves of Cud characters instead of, like, cats and dogs and, and whatever, jackals and whatever. Um, 
but like yeah definitely would would have um albinos albino apes is my bouncers for for my caves of club actually if it's a rave of it would be a rave of club wouldn't it be raves of club oh my god sold ship it it's perfect can't improve on that honestly what uh i guess I, I could have um if they're if they're not too mad at me i wouldn't mind having a borokoru be my uh bartender you know they'd be really good i think you know like you you see those videos of uh the 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 drink mixers and they're like spinning the thing and they you know kick it with their elbow imagine that with a character that has uh six arms that'd be kind of good do you think i could convince them i think i could say hey borokaru have you ever considered bartending because good money sort of with tips you know like i'm not i mean like you know minimum wage and tips that's actually pretty good i mean now everyone's doing less than minimum wage and you make most of your money in tips not saying that's good mind you but i would i would do minimum wage and tips <laughs> i mean to be uh fair if i was if i had my own raves of club i would probably want to pay more than that your bartender is a Borokoru, the, the ape god. I mean, you gotta pay him more than that. Otherwise, you're gonna be hated by apes. We must be... We must be almost done here. I, I... Remember when I said this was gonna be an easy achievement? Man, was I wrong, huh? We must be very close to the end... Of this... Yep. Okay, we are in the canyon. Alright, that's going to do it both for this episode and for this uh line of parasang let's see where are we now too famished right that makes sense we are on the next line and we are i'd say officially halfway through the swamp because we have one long line and then we have basically like another long line because there's only like little bits and pieces of swamp left after that all right. Well, uh, if you enjoyed the episode, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. And thank you very much to the subscribers to The Coffee for supporting the channel. I really appreciate you. Really appreciate you, bud. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.